welcome to Day Trade Masters Week in Review with Justin and Corey. Uh, today we are covering the month of January, so it has been quite the month, but uh, without further ado, I'll just let Justin jump right in. It, it, it speaks for itself. Yeah, it's a crazy month. If you've been following us for a while, we started tracking these, you know, last last year started compiling it uh this is our metric of performance this is our measurement that we can continually use this data to improve on so this is what it looks like basically we've got our months down here so this is going to be for 2023 we're talking about january today we've got the date on the left when the the trade came out the trading pair the top take profit level that we hit the time it took to hit that top take profit level and the total uh the accumulative percentage so the percentage from entry to take profit five was 58.64 percent on ai trading pair usdt on the exchange of kucoin we do track a, a couple of the early entries Corey and nico have been doing some really great notes um keeping us up to date on these trades as they evolve and one thing to to say as well is you know these trades are are data and how we use that data is is completely up to us that's the freedom of trading that's what we love it for so this is the best way we can track this because everyone's going to have their own trading strategy for me you know not even that long ago tp1 tp2 and i was out i was happy you know volatile markets now it's evolved. We're looking at higher take profits, maybe moving to say, selling a percentage at TP1, TP2 and the rest in stop loss. And we've got articles and help, um, uh, training videos and such to give you an idea on how you can use these in different strategies. But I wanted to go through some of these numbers here and just showcase some of these high percentages that we were seeing. like. 74% up here with Ocean was just massive. 62% with FET, you know, 78% for GENS. Uh, just recently, GENS did another 41.81%. So what we do is take all of these, track our no entries. So these guys are still active trades, um, still ongoing. They haven't been hit stop loss. They haven't made support and entry, anything like that. So right now we're classifying these as no entries just for the purpose of tracking. So this gives us a total of 34 trades. 29 of these trades have hit take profits. We've got five no entries. So four out of five are still active. We do have one no entry, high doodles, uh, that just could never build support and broke down lower. And that gives us zero stop losses. We've hit 112 take profit levels for January. And like I said, we still got some active trades going. So it's going to be really cool to see how this plays out. 860.68%. That's a cumulative total. Again, just taking the highest profit level that we hit and taking that percentage and giving us a total here. So we have the wait for support strategy, which if you follow that, 100% of the trades in January put out, you would be in profits. If you cowboyed in on all of them, didn't wait for support, just jumped right in, 85% of those trades, you'd be sitting in profits right now. So pretty impactful to see. And then we did have some early entries, just additional profits if you jumped in with Corey and Nico while they were doing that. So like I said, this is just data. So how we do that is up to us, but DTM has given you kind of a head start and a leg up. So we've got some really powerful articles here, videos and tons of training available, but starting off with a trade setup was posted now what? So this really breaks down getting that trade set up. What's the next steps, right? Uh, I've got a video here that I went through all of these steps in the articles just to have that visual as well as the readable article here, but we're starting off with, you know, rebuilding that chart and trading view and how to do that, set alerts, be able to manage that trade. This is really, really powerful using trading view. So definitely a tool that is highly recommended, setting alerts on there. So you're always staying up to date. If you've got trading view on your phone, you're getting those alerts to your phone. 
Next time you're at your desktop or your laptop, if that's where you're trading, the device you're trading, you know, you've got a decision to make, maybe an adjustment on that trade, whatever it might be. But tons of information here. The other article I wanted to show really showcases some of the different strategies that we can use. So how to consistently win with day trade masters, really good information in here. But we talk about farming and compounding. If you have been following, you know, some of these moves, we can enter at, at entry level, take profits, TP1, TP2, TP3, see a retracement back to entry. We took our profits at those three different take level uh, take profit levels, and we can throw those profits along with our initial investment back in on on a re-entry and ride those back up to take a uh, higher take profit levels. So very very powerful. It comes down to the amount of time that you have at your device committed to trading, um, and if you don't have that much time, that's where the set and forget comes in. This is this is pretty impactful. And that's what these numbers really showcase is that set and forget. This is what that's all about. The set and forget, waiting for that entry point, getting your entry, setting up your take profit levels and stop losses, and letting the market do its magic while you're out living life. So very powerful. Wanted to showcase this. And... All the information is at your fingertips to take this and be successful. So have at it. I love it when I can just sit here, look pretty and drink coffee. That is the perfect Zoom call for me. So very well <laughs> said, Justin. Uh, can we go back to that spreadsheet, please? I just want to kind of go through this. Um, so this is where we can digest some of this information. So a few months ago, six months ago, you know, when the markets were very you know, steady, sideways, sleepy, there was a lot of more like a lot more TP1, TP2 strategies, but we can look at this and we can see that there's a lot more TP3, TP4 and then above. So we don't compound or we don't track the compounded moves that we are trading on some of these where we take profit, we set and forget, but then we're able to use the compounding strategy in tandem with this so that we not only catch the explosive growth upwards, we protect those profits and then buy back in on the downside where that's where we can really compound these grow, this growth. And you know, uh, FET was one that we basically hit TP12, where you know, there wasn't a whole lot of room to move. You just keep adjusting your stop loss, keep riding that thing up. Ocean was very similar, where we had Geek with super high volatility swings, where we're seeing 30% moves three times a week with it coming right back down to entry again. So we can farm those moves with the coins that promote that kind of strategy while taking advantage of these long-term holds that are very much, you don't have to babysit it. You just set it and forget it, check in every couple of days, move your stop loss and you're good to go. Where these other ones are hot and wild and it could be grocery money for those that are looking to take more trades, compound that growth more frequently. You've got that ability, right? Where there's also others, ton is one that's out that, it's just a slow burner. You can put a lot of money on it. You can just let it sit and go and it, you know, makes good 15, 25% a month or so. It does just fine, 14%, <clears throat> you know, a day in 12 hours. So that's where some of these coins are really waking up. We're seeing the TP4s, TP5s, TP6s, TP7s. Uh, that's where we can take advantage of the same strategy that we were using before, TP1, TP2, as just alluded to. I'm more leaning on TP2, but we've got these set up so that these tp1s can be 11 percent. a lot of times we can capture tp1 on that early entry uh take it for 20 25 percent get back in on entry ride that up to tp2 tp3 maybe it comes back down it might only come back down, down to tp1 but that's where we can get back in and ride that thing to TP5, TP6, TP7. Gens is one that we was, it was pretty sleepy. You know, we got some earlier entries down lower. We rode this one up. Uh, I, I cashed out about just below entry for that 25%, but then, you know, you could ride it up to the TP2. I'm not super interested in that chop though. So that's where if it's just going sideways, not super interested, we kept an eye on it. But we know this EMA is going to provide a tremendous amount of resistance. That's where our head is beating against the wall, beating against the wall. And then we finally get this anchor and trigger wave here. So that's where with bullish divergence, we're able to finally break through, make support and then launch. And this is where we can make some really good gains with some of these swings. So, you know, you don't have to necessarily 
be sitting in front of the computer, you can set it, forget it, wait, and just keep adjusting your stop loss every few days. It didn't really make, a, you know, it didn't drop lower. It just kept going. It took a while for it to climb. But for those that are interested in taking a bit more advantage of the, you know, variety of trades that we put out, you can get in on that trigger wave, especially if you've got the detonator. Um, you know, typically we get in a little bit lower, but you can ride these up for some nice gains. You know what the take profits are. TP7, bam, it comes all the way back down. You know, we can look at Fibonacci levels, but big support on our EMA and it starts climbing again, right? We start looking at some bullish divergence and we get our dots printing and we get another big run up here. So another 30, 45% or so. We can take advantage of these. And then we see, you know, bearish divergence forming. We get out, we close the trade, we move on to the next one. There's 14, 15, 16 active right now. We're not too concerned about trying to squeeze the last 5, 10, 15% out of it. If it's going to run up a little bit higher, that's fine. We're finding ones that haven't moved already. Jens was actually a second or third mover where we had others like FET, Ocean take right off. And then we're farming basically on the same pattern. We saw what these other coins did. Jens is just a few, you know, a couple days, <clears throat> a few weeks behind, maybe a couple weeks tops and uh it's catching up now right so we can play it very accurately especially with these swings and take full advantage of what these day trade setups give us right we have two to 14 days for these trades to pan out we can get three big moves out of these or more typically and just keep compounding so very uh very good start to the year lots more coming uh typically you know, this is at the point where we want to take our profits and not be too greedy and, you know, start building those cash positions for the eventual pullback, which is going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The higher we go, the steeper that pullback is going to be. But that's when we want to have the cash to buy that next bottom. So that's it for me. Any closing words, Justin? Building up that cash position and, and the patience can be one of the hardest things when you get into crypto trading for sure but as Corey said you know it's not going to go up forever there will be a pullback so it's it's preparing for that pullback having those cash positions ready you know and even with day trade masters um you get a trade setup that comes out and let's say you miss entry you miss out on that trade well it will retrace and it will most likely have another leg up. You get another kick at the cat. You get another chance at that opportunity. And even if you don't buy in at entry, that's fine. Maybe re-entry is TP1, and then we're launching up to TP4, TP5, which we've been seeing often over the past few months. So there's tons of opportunity. It just comes down to the time that you're willing to commit and the preparation to take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves. So you're in the right spot. You got everything you need. Keep consistent. Absolutely. That's it for today. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Let us know in the comments if you're finding value in these videos. Uh, we got events every week. Every Wednesday, we do a Bitcoin workshop. Every Friday, we've got an AUA with a detonator or with the uh, DTM channel. Uh, we covered the UTC and the detonator today. So the magic behind the curtains. And uh, next week, we'll be doing DeFi. So um, lots more to come. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to take advantage of the free training. And we always look forward to the comments. So if there's topics you want to cover, if there's something you're struggling with, just let us know and uh, we'll prepare content. We'll cover it on the live calls or do whatever we can to make sure that you're getting the results that you're looking for. So we have actually recently opened up the one-on-one -on -one co-insulting as well, coaching. Uh, we've got life coaching. We've got consulting. If you want to cover portfolios, trading, uh, strategy, any kind of, you know, going through technicals, exchanges, stop losses, you name it, we've got solutions. So just let us know the coaching section on BitcoinTaf.com and we'll see you same time next play or same time next week. Great save everyone.